The year is 1098, and crusaders from all over Europe have gathered at the gates of the city of Antioch. The siege has now been taking place for about a year, and starvation is ravaging the camp. Morale is low, and the crusaders have turned to drinking the blood of their own forces in order to survive. Antonio, I don't know how much longer we can carry on. Our water supply is close to none, and my ribcage is poking through my doublet. Do not lose faith, my brother. <laughs> this is in the name of our savior. We must reclaim the Holy Land. Brother, I am sick and tired of drinking this horse blood. Fear not, my brothers. I am Sir Fovind. As long as we keep our morales up, the city of Antioch will be ours within a fortnight. Months later, few resources have been found, and hope is being held by a thin thread. Men are dropping each day from hunger and disease, until a breakthrough in the siege occurs, in the form of a traitorous Muslim within the gates of Antioch. I can't go on any longer. I, I can't feel my arms. <laughs> oh. Fear not, men. I think we may have our ticket into the city of Antioch. A man, an informant by the name of Firuz, had his honor sullied by the Muslims there. He seeks revenge, and so do we. This is it, men. We strike tonight. By God, that is the best news I've heard since we've got supplies from raiding the caravan. Hope at last! In May of 1098, the Crusaders attacked under the leadership of Beaumont of Toronto. Keep your voices down. Silence is our cover. Once we are in, we can open the gate. This city is the location of St. Peter's Church. It rightly belongs to Christianity. Antioch is ours! Welcome to Antioch. Do as you will. Your help is appreciated, Farouz. Once we are in, the local Armenians will join in our cause. Let's fight! Meanwhile, within the gates of Antioch. The Franks have gotten in over the walls. If they get in, we'll lose the city for sure. And if they can open the gates, then they'll flood in from all sides. Where are reinforcements? I thought the king sent for aid. The king has left me in charge. I am his son and heir. We shall defend Antioch till it has fallen. The Muslims scare easily. They'll be back. And in greater numbers. The Crusaders entered the city and slew everyone inside. In the meantime, the king of Antioch, Yagesion, was fleeing the city on horseback with his king's guard. I think we're far enough away from Antioch now. You guards have been doing an admirable job of protecting me with your lies. Should we go back for him? Nah.
Say, you're... you're Yagi Scion, aren't you? You're King of Antioch. No, I'm not. Hey, you're wanted by the Crusaders. No, no you got the wrong guy. I think there's a pretty big price on your head. Just don't use that phrase. No, yeah, that's you, all right. And so, the Armenian brought back the head of Yagi Shiam in order to prove his mettle to the Crusaders. The Crusaders were locked up inside of Antioch, and during this period, they uncovered the Holy Lands, a holy relic said to have pierced the side of Jesus Christ. Outside the gates, the Muslim Turks had the city surrounded. The Turks have us surrounded on all sides. They came back. And in much greater numbers. We're almost overwhelmed, men. But, we did find the Holy Lance, the very lance that pierced the side of our Lord Christ. God is on our side. And if it is the last thing we do, we will keep Antioch in the name of Christianity. But the Muslim counterattack was swift, and soon the Crusaders found themselves yet again in dire danger. With fierce religious zeal, the Crusaders were not going to give up the city without a fight. Yeah! Christian control. They and 